three, by the way, deserves a lot of credit he for does. the chemistry improvement that's happened there. Um, but Jason said afterward, he said, oh, Luca, you know, hasn't gotten a tech in a while. Mm. And he got a tech in this game in the second half. And he goes, right. I think sometimes it conversely, it focuses him in a way you wouldn't expect that he's like, he, OK, he now got a I got to buckle after, down. On, on a made shot, he wanted the and one. Oh, he, okay. was, he was clear he, afterward he, he that he's he like, that was a mistake, that tech. That should be rescinded. But okay. yeah, what player has ever gotten right. a tech that shouldn't be rescinded? And then I got to show one quick Kyrie pass. I know you caught this in the third quarter. Yeah. And it's apropos of nothing. But it's just so spectacular. So you say, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, the behind the back. It's, it's like genius. It's just like, OK. There's only one guy who does these sort of things, right? Luke I was trying, to, I was trying to figure out how he was able to do that I, I and get it right, I, I right in the spot. Hit him right If on I try that, it's going out of bounds. Yeah. Can I speak on Kyrie for a minute, please? Ooh, I understand ooh. all of the stuff he has done off the court, and that stuff, they weren't mistakes. Those were decisions on his part. Um, he made those decisions. He's a grown-up. He's accountable for them. I want to give him, though, so much credit. We, all we ask of people is growth. Right? You, you can't be perfect. And all we ask from you to do is learn from the things that you do wrong, be better, strive well to be better. Thank right? you. That's, yeah. what, that's what we want. Yeah. And he has done that. And he had a great line to me earlier this season. I was sitting down with him for an interview, and he goes, I've learned not to touch the stove when it's hot. And to me, that was sort of the encapsulating Smart. sentence of how yeah. he has grown. And he has put his head down. He has let his basketball do the talking. Well, we haven't heard much about him he has in a been good way, an right? He elite yeah. teammate. Yeah. Those guys in that locker room talk over and over about how Luca's a star. There's yeah. no question. But Kyrie is the voice in the locker room. Mm. He really has become the veteran presence for them that has been such a leadership a leader in the leadership role. And I just want to give him credit because we talked about it so much when he was screwing up for years. <sighs> and he deserved all of those conversations. Yeah, he did. But he deserves this too because he has done the thing that we kept asking him to do, and I hope it lasts. Mm. Keyshawn's having a hard time with this because he just <laughs> doesn't want to buy in. No? He hears it, but he Which doesn't part? Want to, all of the above. Like anything Dallas Mavericks, you're, you're well, still the, the, not sold. Because, one, the, you, you know, they won, whatever, 11 or 12, 12 or 13. 12 or 13. 12 or 13 stretch, games yeah. down the stretch. Mm -hmm. I look at the opponents, okay? You did, you, the, the, the opponents you did. are not the same as this opponent. We talked about, as Rachel talked about, uh, Kawhi coming back into the fold. We mentioned yesterday he was getting back in the lineup. Things were going to be rough and tough on them to try to figure out whose turn, who goes next. Is, is it that coach is going to draw up something for Kawhi or draw up something for PG or draw up something for Harden, or are they just going to go out there and do what they did the first 11 games that they will all get together? Well, they did exactly that. So when I look at that, I say to myself, that correction is coming. Once they sit down and they watch the film and, and Ty Lewis is explaining to them and B. Shaw is explaining to them and they're looking at it and they see self-correction, they're not going to repeat the same mistakes in game three. Unless they're just, just I mean, like a brick or something and it doesn't understand. I don't, and so when I look at the Mavs, I understand that we like Luca, we're going to find all the positive things to say about his improvement in his game. There's no question about it. But they also know how to isolate him and find him and put him in vulnerable situations as well as Kyrie. They were not able to do that on a consistent basis last night. But going forward, I think they will be able to because we can sit here and I think all of us would agree. Ty Lue's probably one of the top three coaches in all of the NBA, if not the top you, coach, you even though he hadn't won a championship. Top one, yeah. yeah, it just depends. I'm talking about just coaching, mm -hmm. understanding, changes, philosophy. So that's why I have a hard time saying to myself, I'm not ready to just be like, they're going to challenge Denver because their path is easy, considering they may get like an OKC, but all of a sudden they dominate that. Now they go to Denver and they give Denver a heart shot if Denver gets out of Los Angeles alive in the next couple games. Be quiet, Rachel. I see mm -hmm. you in the corner of my eye. And, and so you start to think about it, and we, for some reason, we always want to anoint somebody and turn them into something. Sure. I'm like, show me a little bit more. Just show me a little bit more. What more do you need to see I need him? to see more. I just need to see. When, when St Skip sits around and tells me about superstars, getting it done and finishing the deal, finish the deal. Well, I mean, yeah, if we go, if, no, that's the, if we gonna be objective and fair about certain players, I don't I give a damn who it is, Rachel. 
Let's 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 show, show me. All right, because back, he was five or fourteen from he three. Was. He did not shoot it that well. He did not no. shoot it that well. But no. we're sitting here acting as though he shot seventy percent from the field or something like that. And that eh, slow it down. That's all. Just to slow it down. He had two guys in his face most of the night. All superstars have two guys in their face oh, most yeah. of the mm -hmm. night. So mm -hmm. do you have to win a ring to be a superstar? Are we back to that? No, no, no because it is not all based on. It's not all based on one sole individual, but if you're okay. a cold-blooded killer, yeah. guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna put the team on your back, mm -hmm. you're gonna finish the deal, and it's gonna mount to a ring. You're gonna at least get them to the championship. Right. At least get them there. Okay. We act as though, we act as though as the Dallas Mavericks have already, this isn't Dirk that's gone and won a championship. We still waiting for them to get to a final. I, I Not a Western Conference final, but a no final. final. That's all I'm saying. So yeah. that's why I always have reserve in these situations, Rachel. Right. I'm not a hater. I'm just objective. Well, I'm just that. starting to believe he's made of championship stuff. Now, now you got to go do it now. Okay, you gotta, it, yeah. it's interesting you said that because someone that, I always like to say someone, someone that's dialed into the NBA, seriously, we had this conversation yesterday when for some reason they, after I got off from work and they said, they didn't know uh -huh. if he was could be the lead dog on a championship team. Mm -hmm. That's what they told me That's yesterday. That's a question. They well, said the lead well, dog right. on a championship team. All right. Well, and I'm, we're about well, to okay. find out. That's what I want to say. They did get to a conference final. I was yes. say, I don't, I don't think that's a question at all. No. Okay. I don't think there's any question about that. That okay. doesn't mean he's going to win. And, and you know, look, it depends on who else you run into in the playoffs and what round. And you've got a team, as you point out, it's a team sport and all that stuff. But, man, I don't, I don't have a single doubt that he could be the lead dog on a championship team mm -hmm. at all. He is just need a question. The team he is him to 25 be years of age, yes. but he has played. Him. This is his sixth. He's winding up his sixth NBA season after playing whatever three over there. So that's nine, yeah, ten seasons right, right. of professional, professional basketball. basketball. He feels like a he was grizzled vet when he right? started. I don't care if he was nine, Rachel. <laughs> It's prof you, you're a professional I basketball can, player. He was 13 years old. You can't count that as like his NBA training. Come on. I mean. It, it, over there, some people would tell you there's the things that they do overseas from a skill set standpoint is much harder than some of the stuff that happens in the NBA. That is true. But and I, I again, feel like you're Even if you're nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I don't think there's any doubt. So, about Keyshawn, to your point, I got to show you one pivotal play at the end of the game on an inbounds pass yes. to Luca, in which the game teeters because it's 93 to 90 Dallas with 20 seconds left. And check out what Luca pulls off. He gets the ball inbounds, takes a dribble. And Don't hesitate. Go get it. He is stuck because he he he. It's cardinal sin. He goes up with no real plan of what he's going to do. He leaves his feet. And at the last second, he thinks, I'll bounce past it to it, Kyrie. He step out of and bounds. he barely gets it past Terrence Mann, who's kind of but playing Terrence center Mann, field. Yeah, if Terrence he Mann's just yeah. goes and don't hesitate. Hey, hey, we could be having a different conversation Absolutely. right now. But that's, a that's great, how close But here's what I would say. Also, that's still a great play by Luca to be okay. able to stay in bounds, not step out of bounds. Hey. And get the ball to Kyrie. Still a good hey, play, Maya. There's some basketball genius operating there to go up and then bounce it past Terrence Mann. Long bounce it past him to Kyrie breaking up court. And then Kyrie got fouled, made his two free throws, and you're pretty much home. That's a LeBron okay. influence. That's, I was just about to say, that's a little bit of a LeBron right? I agree. I agree. All right. Right. And by the way, the, what led to that inbounds was them, the coach's challenge and overturning. And, and it got overturned. Fact, which, which really um, surprised me because he did slap his arm, but it tells me we yeah, are on the Kawhi, Kawhi scored cool. and they, they challenged that and, he got fouled. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He slaps his arm. And, and but why did they? Like, why, why did they overturn they? it? Maybe Jason Kidd is right. It's 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 90s basketball. I, I don't know. We're, we're just letting that it That got go overturned now. the other night. Uh, in a Laker game, I no, think it was, right, it with did. D. Russ? It did. I will, I will tell you. In the third quarter? I was talking to Jason Kidd after the game just in, in the hallway, and he said, we definitely noticed the way the games were changing, being officiated, starting around March. Mm. He said, and we talked to the team about you can be more physical now. Yeah, Zubak was, was backing down last night. He was just 
And I was like, oh, okay, this is back in the day now. They're yeah. just going to let them play. Yeah, but you can see it, and you can see, again, the fact that Kyrie took the swipe at, at Kawhi's arm. And by the way, not only was did it was it okay, it was over, no, overturned. It was overturned because there's a little more football element to basketball. And that, right lead, yeah, that would have cut it down to two instead of three, right? Yeah, if he had made the shot. Yeah, like made the free makes, throw, yeah. Made, Kawhi makes his three throws generally, and, and yeah, absolutely. Then all of a sudden, we're talking about a different game, too. All right, Keyshawn, do you think the... Clippers go back to the drawing board and figure this out enough they can win at least one of these games in Dallas. I do. Okay. I, I don't think that this is <clears> – <throat> I never thought it would be over on some sweep stuff at all. I think it's going to be a tennis match, ping pong and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's what I think. I think that the Clippers still won in Dallas. They come back home, they get that when they go back to Dallas and lose, and they come home for game seven. Okay, and you have them in seven. Yeah, I got them in seven. Okay. It was in six, now it moves to seven. Okay. He's a Clipper I, fan now. I'm he, not he a is. damn Clipper fan, yeah. Rachel. You, you keep saying that. I, I, I am, yeah. what I am a fan of is basketball, and, yeah. mm -hmm. and I'm a fan of the four guys from Southern California. Well, that's why. And I'm a fan of Brian Shaw's, I'm a fan of Ty Lue's. Yes. And, yeah. I think that makes you a Clipper fan. No. I've never been to a Clipper game inside a Staples Center. What? We had this conversation yesterday, me and Paul Pierce. <laughs> Never been inside a Staples Center, only when they played at the, the, the sports arena. Mm -hmm. And the reason we would go is because of the D.A.R.E. You love this, huh? The yeah. D.A.R.E. program yes. would give tickets away, <laughs> and we would have to go to the police station and get the free tickets to go to the Clipper game. That's the only time I would go to Clipper and game. And there were stacks of them. Stacks of them. Because sitting. it was like yeah. 5,000 people that yeah. would be at an 18,000-seat arena. They right. weren't giving away Lakers tickets. <laughs> no, they were not giving the away The D.A.R.E. program Lakers. was not giving no, away Lakers. Not at all. <laughs> so you don't think Clippers got in your soul a little bit? Never. Never? Never. You sure? No, I'm not Marcellus Wiley. I'm not okay. a Clipper fan. <laughs> all right. I I do think that, that the Clippers certainly have the potential to steal one of these games. I think this would be a six or seven game series. Yeah, six or seven. It, it's, it's two great teams. I mean, this is this is so much fun. Look at the combined all-star appearances on the court. And as bad as the Clippers, think about this, though. As bad as the Clippers shot it last night, they almost won the game in the end. They were Got right close. there yeah. in the end yeah. of winning the game, well, and they, they played bad. Hey. In, in Dallas had to play, you know, you had to have guys like P.J. Washington ball out in the fourth quarter to pull away. Yeah. Okay, I, I, to your point. Although, what's his face did get hurt? Is, um, um, Hardaway Jr. He got, he got hurt, hurt but, but more important, Daniel Gafford got hurt early, got